What is a chess puzzle? Well, according to ChatGPT, a chess puzzle is a specific arrangement of chess pieces on a chessboard that presents a unique and challenging situation. And the goal of a chess puzzle is to find a specific sequence of moves that achieves a specific objective, such as checkmating the opponent's king or achieving some other advantage. And there are different kinds of chess puzzles. What I am mostly interested in is studies, which are often artistic in nature, and they can also be end games or made in X kind of puzzles. But how will I do it? Well, here is my thought process. The first step is to get a random chess position. And the way that I initially did this is, well, by starting from the starting position and then playing a random number of random moves. In this case, I played 42 random moves and I got to this random position. Now, after I have a position, I have to check if it qualifies as a chess puzzle. First of all, I check two things material balance and stockfish valuation. In this case, the material is actually equal if we do the count, but according to stockfish, white is winning. It's around 3.2 for white. Of course, in my program, I do a very quick evaluation. I don't let stockfish think for long, just to save time. So it could be wrong sometimes, but that's okay. And also for simplicity, it's always why to play in these chess positions. So what I check after calculating those two things is that either the material is equal or black has more material and that white is winning. Basically what I don't want is white to be winning and white having more material. Something like this. Because that's not a chess puzzle, white is completely winning. So we can apply those restrictions, but that is not all. Because we can get something like this. In this position, black has one point of material more than white, but white is winning. So those two rules are satisfied. However, white has many winning moves. Yes, the fastest way is to promote to a queen, but you can play this move and win this rook. You can push any of the pawns and it doesn't matter. So what I want to have is one unique solution, at least for the first move of the puzzle. So this is my next check. I go through all the possible legal moves of any position and I check in how many of them white is winning. And if the answer is one, then I keep this position. But there are a few exceptions. For example, in this case, all the rules are satisfied. There is only one winning move, but it's capturing the knight, which is very obvious. So I have to exclude captures. And I also have to exclude checks. For example, in this position, the only winning move is this fork, which, well, is also obvious. And I also excluded pawn promotions. Again, this is the obvious winning move. Of course, there could be puzzles where the winning move is a capture, a promotion or a check, and it's not an obvious move. But because those kind of positions would be very rare, I decided to exclude all such moves. I also excluded all pawn moves. Why? Well, because when I did and I got a lot of positions where the only winning move goes to push a pass pawn. If I wanted to be more precise, I could only exclude pass pawns that are being pushed. But because that goes a bit more complicated, I decided to exclude all pawn moves just to be safe. So now we do have the recipe for creating chess puzzles, but still we have a big problem. It's very rare. Imagine we get a random chess position and we expect it to satisfy all those conditions. It's not gonna happen very often. In an attempt to speed things up a bit, I changed two things. First of all, instead of starting from this position, I thought, well, let's start from this position. All the pieces are now nicely developed. We don't have to waste time developing them. And also, when we do get to a random chess position, instead of starting all over again, I thought, let's play one move for each side and evaluate this position as well. And we can do the same because we are already in a position that could be a chess puzzle. Why start all over again? So I do this 10 more times and then I go back to the position that I showed you before. I don't know how much those two things have helped, but I did get some results. But first I want to show you this position. I did not get this position exactly, but I did get something similar in an earlier test. So this position satisfies all our conditions. But the problem is that the winning move, the only winning move is just pinning the rook. And this is very obvious, at least to me, so that doesn't qualify as a chess puzzle. So maybe as a next step, I must also remove pins like this one. I also got this position where, again, the winning move, the only winning move, is kinda obvious, is king g6, 
so that you need checkmate and there is no way to stop it. You can prolong the checkmate for a few more moves. You can promote this pawn to a queen, but this doesn't help. This is now checkmate. So this position doesn't qualify as a chess puzzle either. But I also got this position. Let me show you the solution. So the winning move is queen 7. This also seems obvious because you are threatening checkmate and there is no easy way to stop it. However, what is interesting about this position is why this is the only winning move. What about this move? This also threatens checkmate, but the problem is that black can checkmate you first. This is now checkmate for black. Therefore, queen e7 controls this square, so this move is not possible. But what about this move? This is a check, and then you can still go to e7 and threaten the checkmate. So what's the difference? The king is not on b8, but instead the king is on a8. This is where things get interesting. Now I will ask you to pause the video and find the only winning move for black. So if you had a chance to look at it, the only winning move for black is this check. This is a free rook, but if you take it, you no longer threaten checkmate. But again, you still have to find the only winning move for black. And this time, this move is bishop e4. Now, this bishop not only controls this diagonal, so white cannot do any checks, but it also threatens this checkmate. And well, white can't do anything. The best thing you can do is just to sacrifice your queen, and still black will win because of those two pass pawns. So what's the difference? Well, if we go back to the initial position, so now if this happens, this check doesn't work because white will take. And now because the black king is here, then white has this check and then white can pick up the bishop and again threaten checkmate. Actually, this is made in one. So yeah, even though I wouldn't classify this position as an amazing chess puzzle, we still got something interesting out of it. And this is what I want to achieve with my program. I don't expect it to create amazing award-winning positions, but it can give us positions like this one, where along the way we will find something interesting, or maybe if we modify the position a bit. Of course, I will continue working on this program to optimize it a bit more. I am also working on other projects, so stay tuned. Of course, I have made other chess puzzles in this channel where I didn't use any computer to help me. You can check this playlist on the left. I also explored anti-puzzles where you have to find the only losing move. You can check this playlist here. But anyway, for today, that was it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.